guys, welcome to ProTech. I'm Steven here with Jeremy and Jason. We are going to demo what a stage looks like, uh, meaning what it looks like when you're shooting it uh, in Steel Challenge. Okay, so normally you've got several members of the squad of shooters that you're in, you know, 10 or 20 members of that squad. You'll all come into a bay like this, a shooting bay, and the stage will be set up. This one is called, what's it called, roundabout or speed option? Speed option. This is speed called option. speed option. There's eight sanctioned stages, and there might be like a, a plate rack or something like that, a, a non-sanctioned stage that that range is, is going to be shooting. But anyways, you walk up, and depending upon your division, you might have to have your gun in a bag like I do. I'm going to shoot my rimfire pistol. Or you might have to have, if you're shooting a long gun, you might have to have a barrel flag in it, a chamber flag, and you've got your barrel pointing down on the ground or up in up to the sky to kind of speed things up versus carrying your rifle bag up. Or if you're like Jeremy and you're shooting a, a center fire pistol uh, division, you'll have your gun in a holster and you'll have your loaded mags on your side and you'll walk up, uh, you know, into the shooting box when it's when it's your turn. Normally they'll call up the shooter. Then they'll call the person who's on deck, and then they'll call the person who's in the hole. So if you're on deck or in the hole, you're getting ready to, to step up into the box after that shooter completes, completes his shoot. Okay, and this is what the shoot's going to look like. So Jeremy is the range officer. Normally the range officer will have a timer in his hand. And then Jason is the scorekeeper. Normally he'll have some sort of a tablet in his hand to keep the score. Okay, so he's, I'm going to follow his commands. He's going to tell me to, he's going to ask me if, if uh, I understand the course of fire. He's going to tell me to load and make ready. He's going to ask me if I'm ready. I'm going to get in the ready position for whatever that division is. I'm going to give him a head nod or I'm going to say yes. And then he's going to push the button and the, and the timer's going to go off. The beeper's going to go off. That's when I'm going to engage the targets. And we get to do that five times. And then at the end, to, to stay safe, we've got to unload the gun, show the range officer that the gun is clear. When he says it's clear, we'll let the slide let the slide forward and pull the trigger down range if it'll pull the trigger, and then we bag it or reholster it or reflag it. Okay? So here's what it looks like. Shooter may make ready. So normally when when they say make ready. That means you can get your gun out empty, and you can you can aim at the targets a little bit, you know, kind of kind of check out your game plan. Normally, you want to develop a game plan when you're standing behind the firing line. Okay, and then once you get up here, you can go through the motions of that game plan. You don't want to spend an hour and a half. No, I'm exaggerating. You don't want to spend a minute or more going through your game plan because you got 15 other people standing behind you waiting to shoot. Okay. And they might start throwing spitballs at the back of your head if you spend too much time doing that. Or, or making fun of you or whatever. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go through my game plan. That's not my game plan. There you go. What is my game plan? I didn't think of a game plan before I came up here. I'm just kidding. All right. Okay. Load and make ready. Okay. I'm gonna try to not screw it, screw this up too bad. Okay. So for my division, for rim fire, you aim at a cone or a marker uh, about 10, 12 feet in front of you. So that's where I'm gonna aim. Okay. Shooter ready. Stand by. Okay, so after I finish shooting and I hit all five of the targets, several things happen. The RO, the RO rolls the, the timer back and the scorekeeper records the time. Okay, the RO pays attention to me, the shooter, to make sure I don't turn with a loaded gun, you know, and break the 180 degree barrier. <clears throat> and he's also uh, watching me, watching how I manipulate the gun, making sure I stay safe, okay? So, and I don't have to wait. After the first string, you can go ahead and reload your gun on your own. You don't have to wait for a command, and you can go ahead and start to get ready for the next string. Okay? These guys will normally call out the time. 
Okay, so one of them will read it off and the other one will confirm it. So the scorekeeper may, might read it off and the RO might confirm it, or the RO might read the time off and the scorekeeper might confirm it. 8.04. Gosh, it was that bad? Oh, man. Stop. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? Stand by. Three point nine four. Three nine four. What's nice is if you only suck once, that string gets deducted from your score. So your your worst of the five strings gets removed from your score. So as long as I do decent for these next three strings, that first one that I did really bad on won't count towards my final score. Are you ready? Stand by. Five three eight. Five three eight. Now, generally, you want to try to have at least five magazines. If you're shooting like a rimfire pistol, they're normally ten round magazines. So you want to try to have five of them. That way, you've you've got one per string. I've only got four. So after this string. I'm going to have to unload my gun, set it down, and load a fifth mag. Or if one of these guys is feeling really nice, not the RO, but possibly the scorekeeper, if another guy were here, that other guy would, would be asked if he'd like to help me out. Um, obviously, the camera guy can't do it because it'd be shaking a little bit. and he's, He already needs as much help as he can get. Uh, Caleb, say hi. Hi. Okay. That's the cameraman's <laughs> name in case you didn't catch that. Okay. So... Uh, Jason might load my mag, or I might just go ahead and unload my gun and load it myself. Okay, I'll, I'll load it myself. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Are you ready? Stand by. Four two seven. If finished, unload and show clear. Okay, I've got one more string. If clear, okay. hammer down. Okay. And bag it. I think I've got one more string, but I've only got four mags. Is it okay if I go ahead and load yeah. it? Okay, all right. And sometimes your RO might not know what string you're on because he's been up here ROing, you know, the, the squad for the last, you know, several hours, and he might not, you know, be keeping track of, of what string number you're on. Okay, so if, 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 there's a, if there's a confusion, don't get upset. Don't interrupt him. Wait till he's done talking and say, hey, uh, I think I've got one string left, or you might confirm with the scorekeeper, you know, while keeping your muzzle down range, your gun's safe, whatever. Four, two, seven. Okay, yeah, I do, and he'll say, okay, yeah, you can go ahead and load a mag. So I set my gun down, unloaded, you know, slide back, range, you know, muzzle down range. I've loaded up my, my next mag, and then um, in this case, just kind of as a courtesy, I'd probably tell him, okay, I'm ready. Am I yeah. good to, okay, all right. Shoot your mag ready. Are you ready? Stand by. If finished, Reset unload it. and show clear. If clear, bag it. What was that time? Three six eight. Okay, I was kind of proud of that one. I just wanted Range to say it. Range is clear. Want to say it again? <laughs> okay, Three, guys. Six, eight. So that's what Steel Challenge is like, um, and you got a bunch of different stages. This is just one of the eight stages. Oh, and after, so after you shoot your fifth stage, the RO and the scorekeeper will, will confirm that they did their jobs right, and then they'll show you the tablet, and you get to look at your scores, okay? And then if you agree with your score, you'll hit the approve button. If you disagree with it and you're like, hey, why does it say I had a miss on stage three? They'll say, oh, well, I might have fat fingered that, and they'll go in and they'll fix that, okay? Or if you want to contest something, like say uh, they called a miss and you thought it was a hit, you wait until the end of your five shots, or the end of your five strings, and you say, hey, I think I hit, I hit that plate on that third string. Could we go down and look at it? And as long as the plates were painted before you started shooting your first string, then they can go down when the range is safe and review that plate. And if there's a, if there's a mark on the side of the plate where you might have skimmed it, they'll go ahead and give you the benefit of the doubt and they'll take that miss away. Most of the time, people are okay with, with going with the range officer's call. 
um, but some folks are really really aggressive about that and they want that checked um, but anyways guys uh, anything that you'd like to add I think you did all or thank you. you got the 180 Yep. And don't touch a gun until RO says something. Make yep. sure you show the RO an empty chamber before you bag. Don't just put yes. it in the bag. Yes, yes. Or That's holster. very yeah. crucial. So, like I did, let's let's reiterate that. I held it open. He looked over my shoulder, looked in the chamber. You're clear. Saw that it was clear. Saw me take my magazine out. He can even see yeah. down in there and tell that there's not a magazine in the gun. I wait for him to say, you're clear. Then I let my slide forward pull the trigger down range. On some guns, they've got a magazine disconnect in them and, and the trigger won't actually pull without a magazine in it. So I just motion it, okay, and then bag it. So he'll, he'll say, okay, unload and show clear, pull my magazine out, I'll empty my chamber, show it to him, let it forward, pull the trigger, and he'll say, if, if clear, hammer down and bag it, or hammer down and holster, or hammer down and flag it, if it's a long gun. Very good point. Yes, yeah, safety is crucial. If you come to a steel challenge match, um, the safety briefing is very important and the RO, the RO, depending upon who he is and his character and so on and so forth, um, is going to handle safety infractions, uh, hopefully professionally um, and semi-aggressively, okay? Because we want everybody to go home with the same number of holes they came to the range with, okay? That's what they say at all the matches, so I went ahead and threw that in there. If that hurt your feelings, then I'm sorry, and you probably shouldn't come to a steel challenge match. Okay, but uh, anything else? That was it. All right, thank you, sir. And thank your ROs. Thank your ROs for, for uh, ROing you. I mean, don't sing Kumbaya together. I mean, get your crap and get off the firing line so the next guy can come up and shoot. But be thankful, and if you have time and you have the physical ability, help out. Help paint targets pick up brass and put it in the brass bucket depending upon you know the range setup stay afterwards if you can if you got the time and help tear down you know help clean up the range uh, you know appreciate appreciate the sport and appreciate all the work that goes into it because it is a lot of work right guys all right guys this video has been long enough we're going to go ahead and sign off everybody stay safe out there and we'll see you next time